Let's turn attention to security now. Some youths in Plateau State have staged a protest over the incessant attacks and killings of locals by militia men in the Mangu Council area of the state. The youths are demanding the immediate removal of the Special Tax Force Commander, Operation Safe Haven, who they claim has compromised their mission and is now unable to impartially perform his duty of protecting lives and property of natives. A correspondent in Plateau State, Unam Joshua, reports. Reactions continue to flow in over recent attacks and killings of locals, including women and children by gunmen suspected to be Fulani militia men in the Mangu Council area of Plato State. About 200 people are believed to have lost their lives in the attack, with many properties destroyed. The attack has continued unabated across 34 villages in the Mangu local government area and environs for days now. The leadership and members of the Plato Youth Council come out in large numbers to protest these attacks and killing of these killings and acts of terrorism are not coincidental nor random happenings happenings. Rather, these are premeditated and calculated attempts, attacks that aim at uprooting native villages and communities to satisfy the inordinate territorial ambition and supremacy of the Fulani and their cohorts. To our greatest surprise, the Operation Safe Haven, under the command of Major General Abdul Salam Ibrahim, appeared to be totally overwhelmed and uncoordinated in its response to the merciless massacre of citizens. Indeed, there was no aerial deployment and support for troops to pursue and track down the so-called Fulani militias who were in their hundreds. Some residents in the state also shared their thoughts with us on the invasion. We have heard them say to us that, that it is farmer headers clashes but it's not. So we are saying that the government should arrest those responsible and bring them to book. We are calling for the total of withdrawal of the Operation Safe Heaven to be replaced by mobile police squadrons. This will largely help because this is not the first time that such an operation or such a process has been set in, in motion here in the state and we've seen results. The Play 2 Youth Council are calling on the authorities to intensify more proactive measures toward putting an end to this dastardly act being perpetrated in various communities within the state. Joshua. TVC News, Joss.